Hey what's up guys, in this video I'm gonna teach you guys about Buzzy boss on Avian Dungeon Hopefully you guys can learn something, okay? Let's start beginning. So overall, this Buzzy boss 90% health Gonna start doing wind wall This first phase Second phase yeah, so there is second two two phase on this boss. First phase is on the wind wall, doing mini skills. Later I'll show you the mini skills. There is stun and wind wall. And second phase it's gonna be the explosion phase. So you need to either run out from the room or just drop defensive on it. Okay. So on this video I'm gonna teach you guys the stay inside the room way. Okay, but I'll also explain a bit if you want to do the run out way. Okay, let's start. So, for first phase, let's focus on this 90% health. Before that, uh, so let me just uh, tell you guys about the party setup main tank using this set, off tank. Gonna be uh, like there is two options. If you use the run out way, usually it's gonna be full CDR. Using Royal Jacket, Assassin Hood, Miss Caller, and Refreshing Sprint for more ease. You can spam it off cooldown, but since I'm staying inside the room, uh, I like my off tank to be my defensive, so I have one extra defensive, okay? So this will be my second defensive usually. My one hand arcane will be my first defensive with BMS. And. My Iron Root BMS will gonna be my third defensive, usually, okay? Okay. So, yeah, for the rest, you can just see the set. Let's get start with the video. So at the beginning of the boss, same as other bosses, you want to throw pot threatening smash, drop defensive, or less damage, tell party to small damage so that they won't get too much aggro. You taunt after a few auto attacks of the party. Tell them to still do small damage until your second taunt. Once you second taunt, tell them to full damage. You can see just now there is two defensive. My defensive get mixed up, but it's fine. I fix it. So yeah, on this boss you wanna. Dodge, okay, so you see this is 90% already, 90% uh, health already, okay? So it's gonna cast wind wall. The wind wall phase is this this channeling. You just need to remember this, like this picture. Like if you see this picture, that the boss will gonna cast wind wall. So just tell your party to use Knight's Helmet and Gartron. So if you use the run out phase, your GA one and one hand arcane will be occult, right? They will use Mimic and that. Mimic will mimic off tank and you will get like Gartron. A Gartron on southwest and Gartron on northeast. And you as main tank just Gartron one side and the off tank Gartron another side and you will have full Gartron. But if you do it my way, like stay inside the room, you only have one occult. So for example, my GA is, for example, okay, like my GA is at the northeast and off tank is at northeast. So they got two Gartron already. So I will Gartron the southwest and one of the support will have night helmet to use. So that's that. But just in case they don't have the night helmet or Gartron, tell them to dodge, okay? Dodge win wall. There is two mini skills on this boss, this speed. We call it speed. I call it speed. No, not speed. It's like a breath. And one more is the stun. You need to dodge. Usually on this breath phase, when it start uh, casting, you, you just go to the tail. Okay, and that's it. And if you see this stun, like this own uh, AoE skills, this is, this will stun you. Either you stand on the stun and use guard rune, or you just need to dodge. Like, I, I, I just dodge it. I save my guard rune for the wind wall, usually. So as you can see, it's gonna be wind wall again. To know the timing of the wind wall, usually you, s you see your guard rune cooldowns, okay? 
So as you can see, since my guard rune is up, it's gonna be win wall soon, and it's win wall now. So it's around 15 seconds from one win wall to another win wall, okay? And keep one thing in mind. As you can see, my party is at northeast and southwest because you don't want your party to stand on the tail. If someone stand on the tail, they will get knocked back by the tail. So yeah. The stun skills, just dodge it. Win wall. Call for guard run. And by the way, on the first phase, just rotate your defensive, okay? Like call for first defensive, after it's done, second defensive, after it's done, third defensive. Keep on it rotating, okay? And just use your E whenever you call for the BMS defensive. Okay, soon it's gonna be 70%. Like, be ready to see the cleric rope picture. Because if you see the cleric picture, cleric rope picture, the explosion phase will gonna start. On the on explosion phase, there is two things you need to remind your party. So one is cleric debuff. Because we stay inside the room, people that stay inside the room, like some of it will get cleric debuff. Cleric debuff is a cleric rope picture under your name. Okay, so there is like cleric, cleric rope picture under your name. The more stacks of that cleric rope picture, it's it, it's gonna be more painful. And it does AoE damage every few seconds, so it's gonna kill your party quick. To cleanse that cleric rope picture, I mean the yeah cleric rope debuff, they need just to walk out of the room. Okay, walk out of the room, wait until it's leash. When it's reset, and uh, just go back in. Okay. So as you can see, it's almost seventy percent. It's gonna be second phase soon. Just be ready. Look at the skills of the boss. It's win wall. So yeah, just drop the guard run. Oh, as you can see, you see that cleric rope picture? That's second phase. Okay. So once you see this cleric rope picture, you know second phase start already. Okay. So okay, let's continue. Okay. So once the channeling is almost end, you call for a defensive. Okay. So at this case, I think I call for which defensive? First defensive, but he's not listening to me. Yeah, he used it pretty late, as you can see. But luckily, we have BMS, I think, just now, and Incubus E. You see that Incubus E? Okay, let's rewind a bit to show you. You see that electric? That's cleric rope debuff. You uh, you see Bozo name, okay? You see that r uh, circle? That's cleric rope debuff. Everyone that have that red circle explo exploding on them, that's cleric rope debuff. You can see it, like, you see my name? Top left, that's the, and there is like cleric rope picture on me. That's cleric rope debuff. So everyone that have this cleric rope picture need to get out of the room and leash it. But since I'm main tank, I cannot leash my cleric rope debuff. To leash it, I need the red circle uh, that I'm gonna show you soon. So every time the boss do the kaboom thingy, it will spawn. Uh, it will spawn a red circle. It will cleanse the cleric rope debuff for everyone that you see that uh, red circle on non ticks yeah, that's that's the cleanse. So if your party have this red circle cleanse, tell them to come to you so that your cleric rope debuff will get cleanse and these stacks. You see these 23 stacks? The more stacks you get, the more painful the boss damage is. So make sure to tell your party right away to, to give you that red circle, okay? By the way, from every kaboom, uh, from, from every explosion, you need to tell your party to spread because that's AoE damage and call for defensive and i'm gonna teach you now how to call the defensive okay so from one explosion to next explosion that's 15 seconds okay 15 seconds so you see this channeling for the first explosion it's pretty easy there is a channeling uh cleric row picture so you don't need to count for it just wait until you see this cleric row picture if you use the run out way just call for occult out Tell your party to get out, but if you stay inside the room, like my way, just call for a defensive when it's 80% channeling and tell to use the infeeble a bit later because, you know, the E lasts longer than the infeeble, so try to 
use the infeeble one second later after he used the E. So use E first, wait one second, use infeeble on 80%, okay? Like, usually I call, like, I think it's, it's first defensive, okay? First defensive, and I drop my E, so that's max defensive. I have my E, Incubus E, BMS E, and the infeeble. Tell everyone to spread, and it's gonna be explode. Okay, you see that once it's explode, you count for 15 seconds. It's gonna be the second explosion. So you will gonna ca uh, call for defensive on 12 seconds usually. So you count 1, 2, 3, dodge this. Don't don't stand on the speed because or the breath, it's gonna be one hit you guys. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Call for defensive. It's gonna be kaboom soon. So that's that. So that's 15 seconds. Okay, let, let's let's count that again. Just now I explained you guys, so not really that 15 seconds. Okay, so you call for next. Uh, I call for what? First defensive here. Oh, I call for third defensive, I think. Call for third defensive, but they both use it. Let's rewind a bit. So it's explode, you count for 15 seconds, 12 I think, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, call for defensive, 14, 15, explode, you see? So it's 15 seconds from one explosion to one, uh, another explosion. And you don't want to call defensive on 15 seconds because it's too late, it's explode already. So you need to call it on 12 seconds. But there is another way to count it if you are too lazy to count 15 sec uh, 12 seconds because it's, you know, every time uh, there is explosion you need to count 12 seconds, that's a bit too much. Usually I call, uh, I count for four, four credits, okay? So if the boss do an, an auto attack, that's one credit. If the boss do stun, that's one credit. If the boss do that bread thingy, that's two credit because the bread takes more time. So let's let's try it out, okay? And by the way, you you will only need to count it on the first rotation because on the next rotation the boss will do the same thing. So yeah. I'll show you guys, okay? Let's see. For example, this is the first rotation. You don't know when the boss gonna drop the explosion. So this is the cleric rope, the first the first kaboom, it's very easy to determine because there is a channel there and there is cleric, cleric rope picture. So call for defensive, drop, <coughs> drop defensive there, and tell everyone to spread, it's kaboom. Okay, count, 4 credits now. Spread is considered 2 credits, okay, that's 2. <coughs> the boss did stun, that's 3. The boss did auto attack, that's 4, call for defensive. I call it early, too early just now, you see, like it's run out already, but since the Incubus E and BMS E have longer duration, it's, it's fine, you know, but try to call it like on 4 credits, this is like one of bad example. And kaboom, you see? So, you only need to count at the first rotation because the next rotation usually is the same as the previous rotation. So if we rewind a bit, on the second explosion, the boss will do press, okay, press. He will do a stun. He will do an auto attack, then it's gonna be explode. Okay, but since it's first rotation, you don't know like which kills you uh, the boss gonna cast but since after the sub first rotation you remember the boss kills on the next rotation you don't need to count it again you can just call it when the boss auto attack after the stun okay so let's let's see on this the next rotation so for the first explosion you just need to see the cleric rope picture again Focus on the cleric rope picture. You see the cleric rope picture? Tell everybody to spread, 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 spread. Third defensive now. I drop my E, that's full defensive. Boom. And drop reset after kaboom. So that's pit. I mean that's red. 
and that's done. One out to call for defensive. It's gonna be explode soon. You see? So after the first rotation, you don't need to count it because you know the kaboom like more or less will 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 happen after the stun. After the auto attacks after the stun, you know. So yeah. You just need to count it on the first rotation of the explosion. Okay guys. So basically that's it for the buzzy. This explosion is gonna repeat until it dies. So that's it. So let's rewind a bit. I'm lagging here. So you need to remind your party to always give you this cleanse. And you want to do it after the second kaboom, okay? Because if you do it on the first kaboom, after the first kaboom, usually the boss do a bread, uh, bread skills, right? And if your party give you clans on the bread skills, they're gonna die. So just try to get the red circle uh, when the boss do, do the second kaboom. I'm gonna show you on this one. So that's the first kaboom uh, sign, the cleric rope picture. Call for defensive, I'm lagging there. Fine. Boom. Okay. So you don't wanna, uh, like, you can still get the red circle, but it's better not to get the red circle because you still can get it on the next one. It's fine since the stack is not that much. So you can tank some damage, it's fine. This is the stun. After the stun, it's gonna be explosion soon, so call for defensive now gonna be now boom okay so uh, after this second kaboom it's gonna be another red circle right so that's when you want to get that circle so to remind your party to give you that red circle you can see my party is coming to me drop guard rune just in case there is stun so that your party won't get stun and yeah dodge the stun and that's it for the run out phase this is how you call it so you see this cleric debuff i'm gonna simulate just in case you do the two occult arcanes okay your arcanes both is on occult and you tell the party to run out okay occult out now like the party will run out everyone will run out of the room it's only you alone okay before it's explode you see that channeling just use soldier helmet because you're the only one here you don't need to drop defensive just use soldier helmet and once it's explode tell your party to come back in come back in the boss will do their the skills and call defensive now call defensive now remember after the stun it's gonna be a boom so go for defensive and so the advantages running out, your party won't get cleric debuff because no one is inside the first kaboom phase. The boss and uh, uh, since no one is inside the room on the first kaboom phase, no one will get the cleric debuff. But uh, disadvantage of that running out phase, you get less damage because you need to run out and yeah, wait for the next phase to come. So I prefer staying inside. But if you're new raid leader, I suggest you just use the run out style, okay? So just keep in mind, every time there is cleric rope picture, tell them to run out. Okay, use soldier helmet before it's explode. And once it's explode, tell them to come back in. After 12 seconds, you call for defensive. But on the second rotation, you will know the pattern. Just call the defensive after the pattern, you know. Okay, so that's it for the buzzy video. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thank you guys. See ya.